What's up guys? It's your boy Mikey Bustos here, aka Ants Canada, bringing you another interesting video. Now, you know, ants are so closely related to all creatures um, in the world. You know, they depend on other species of plants and animals to survive and, you know, vice versa. Other species of plants and animals depend on ants to survive, uh, either directly or indirectly. Um, and so I wanted to show... Um, a friend that I recently picked up last night here in Dumaguete, Philippines. Um, I'm here shooting a project, documentary type project, and um, last night I found this guy here. Now it's not an ant, but it is a longhorn beetle species. Uh, let's see here. Take a look at that. Not exactly sure if this is a male or a female. Um, and I'm currently getting um, an ident a, a proper ID, ID on this one. Um, but as soon as I saw it, I screamed out of joy, not out of fear. Sorry, it's got a little bit of ketchup stains at the back because I had nothing to put it in but a um, container where there was um, a little bit of fries. Um, and I wiped the container as best I could, but... Some of the ketchup went on the beetle. Um, now, longhorn beetles um, belong to the family uh, Cerambicidae, um, and it's a very large family, over 20,000 different species described. Um, and most of them are like wood boring species, you know, they they are known to be pests, you know. Um, this one in particular, I believe, is nocturnal because I caught this longhorn beetle in the night. It's huge, over three inches, I guess, from head to tip. Um, the legs are fascinating. It's the front legs that are the longest see look at the coloration on it it doesn't even look real look at that let me see if I can have a look at the the face on this thing looks like an alien no look at those spurs on the thorax those thoracic spurs they're like horns now these Longhorn beetles are named after their very long horn-like antennae. See? Um, probably the most notorious in North America would be the Asian longhorn beetle, which um, is a very big pest to crops, an invasive species. Um, but there's so many kinds, and they're all so beautiful. Again, I'm currently getting a proper ID on this species, and we'll be putting it in the title as soon as I find out what it is. Not great? Miraculous. Now, it's not an ant, but due to the circle of life, it's definitely connected to ants. I was also able to run into these guys on Valencia Mountain in Dumaguete, Philippines. Little ants that kind of looked like formica, but definitely weren't. They were more robust and more compact. From their movements, they kind of reminded me of Perichicana longicornis, but definitely weren't that either, because they were larger than Perichicana longicornis. I'll be identifying this species very soon, and we'll be putting its ID in the title. Thanks guys for watching my videos and for tuning in to AntsCanada.com. Ant love forever. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.